A mountain animal shelter is accused of allowing unwanted pets to be dumped into a drop box. But shelter officials in Rutherford County say people on Facebook need to get their facts straight. News 13's Frank Faboni joins us with tonight's reality check. Now, Frank, could they be dumping animals down a chute right on top of other animals, as some people have suggested? Uh, well, not exactly, Larry. They do have an animal drop box or building, but it also has self locking trap doors for the animal's safety. <laughs> the Rutherford County Animal Shelter takes in hundreds of animals every month. All a person does is comes up, trips that door. And shuts it. Some of them come in after hours through what's called a drop box. The truth of the matter is, it's not an actually a drop box. It is a six by eight building. The building is sectioned off into three kennels, one for cats and two for dogs. It's a first come, first serve type uh, building that we have. But after someone posted a picture of it on Facebook, the bald allegations began that animals were dumped through a hole onto other animals. I believe the person that posted the picture had good intentions, uh, but then folks with some type of agenda got on the bandwagon and it went from there. We checked other area shelters. Henderson and Buncombe counties do not use a drop box, but Haywood does. But what we'd like for them to do is to leave a note. People who leave animals are instructed to fill out a form, but few ever do, a concern for state agriculture officials who license animal shelters. The director of animal welfare, Dr. Lee Hunter, says there's nothing in the Welfare Act that says you can't use a drop box. But he also adds their use across the state has been dwindling since the pets often arrive with no information. Shelter officials say this is a safe way to surrender a pet. Without it, people have left animals in airtight boxes, have chained them to the fence, and have even thrown them over the barbed wire. I've come here and there have been kittens in tubs with covers on them. They have been labs that have been lined up along the fence. We've had animals thrown over the fence. The executive director of the neighboring nonprofit community pet center says the shelter isn't perfect, but always passes inspections. These drop boxes have been there in some form or other since we've been here for the last 16 plus years. And the drop boxes are actually protecting the animal's safety. And that alleviates a lot of those problems and makes sure that that pet is safe, that there's water and food and so forth. The lieutenant says people who don't use the drop box are actually breaking the law since abandoning a pet in North Carolina is illegal and a misdemeanor offense. If you have an idea for a reality check, you can email us at realitycheck at WLOS.com.